Uh, I should say I'm one of them. Yes, it's going to be packed. Uh, but this is what you got to worry about is you're straight in the middle of this red zone here in Nashville. Thunderstorms will be coming through. Let's look at the timing because there is a risk of damaging winds um, and there is an isolated tornado risk too through this area. It's kind of day where you need to make sure that you're paying attention to the weather, have a way to get warnings, have a way to get inside, especially when these thunderstorms are coming through. And we can time them out, right? It's not just a complete kind of pop-up sort of day when it comes to storms. We've got a lot of southerly flow coming in, turning of the winds with height. The low level jet will add to that, but also at the upper levels, we've got a pretty strong um, jet too, mainly on the northern end of all this. So shear is high, lift is medium, instability is low, but there, there's enough. And then moisture is medium too, and heavy rain will, uh, will be a part of these thunderstorms. So let's time it out. I think we won't have a lot of flooding today just because things are progressive and moving through, so that's some good news. But we look at Memphis, thunderstorms coming in about 11 o'clock this morning. There could be some strong damaging winds. We have to watch that tornado a threat with any spin-ups along this line. We watched that getting into the afternoon. And yes, we could see a few cells popping up before the main event gets here. But this is 3 o'clock, a couple of showers and storms. Nashville, here we go, bringing through the main line just after about 7 o'clock this evening. So by tonight, really, as everyone's trying to get out outdoors, I think it should be uh, pretty good in Nashville. Birmingham can't say the same because this is 7 o'clock and the line still hasn't come through just yet. Same thing in the Atlanta area. It's going to take into the, you know, about the midnight hour for this to come through so do expect some rain showers if you're going out there to bang your pots and pans or whatever you're going to do at midnight or perhaps touch off the fireworks which as someone who sleeps at midnight that's always tough on new year's eve all right so the Torcon, we do have a three out of ten in southern kentucky and central tennessee northeastern mississippi it's you know this northern part this is where we have some stronger winds at the upper levels i think the ingredients kind of coming together a bit more there but again to three as jim said this has been a year with no EF4 or EF5 tornadoes here. That is, would be the first year on record if we continue that through today. Um, the last EF4 was in 2017 in Canton, Texas. All right, let's switch gears, Jim, and go from the severe to the snow. It's for New Year's Eve. But it's equal opportunity, sort of everyone's down. So yeah. Buffalo is down, yeah. Rochester's down, because you know they have that Golden Snowball Award in uh, upstate New York, greater western New York. And so certainly the fact that everyone's getting rain makes it a bit easier to take. But we're getting rain today. Look at Syracuse forecast. As we get through the evening, temperatures are going to be up there into the upper 30s, even climbing overnight into the mid 40s. Now it's going to get very windy, so you got to keep that in mind. But yes, we do have um, rain and not snow coming in for New New Year's Eve here in Syracuse, New York. There is some snow possible in the Northeast, and there are some winter weather advisories. Sarah Neck Lake, you're included in it. Parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, and then we have a winter storm warning now across northern Maine. That watch was changed into a warning, and that's where we could see about 8 to 12 inches, but you got to go far north, and I mean, Caribou, we've had a great season, actually. A great start to the year. Sugarloaf, Maine, what, you've had more than 90 inches of snow. That was last week's number, so I'm, I know you've added up a little more since then. A big round, actually, of heavier rain this week yet to come. So here's a look at what we've had in just the past week. I know it's been a rainy last two months across the south, but you know, from Texas over into really western North Carolina, we've had inches of rain. Some areas getting over, you know, five plus inches of rainfall that has left nearly 150 gauges on the rivers in either minor to moderate flood stage. So keep watch, especially here across the lower Mississippi Valley. I'll show you how it's going to look later this week. The forecast is for actually more rainfall and the potential for more flooding. We've got to look at the rainfall forecast, three to five inches of rain on top of everything we've seen. This is how we start off 2019 with big rain out there from southern Arkansas into Mississippi, into Alabama. Look, soil moisture is high. Streams and creeks are running high. You saw the river gauges already running high. We do have that possibility of flash flooding with this next round of rain coming in from the system Jim was just talking about. So then you look at the forecast. Now in the next five days, we've got a, over 185 gauges that are expected to be minor, moderate, and we bring in the risk of major flooding in around southeast Texas and into southern parts of Mississippi as well, maybe even southeastern Louisiana. So worried about that. Also just worried about, you know, all the other hazards that come with heavy rainfall, which is driving concerns. Over 25 states will see an inch or more of rain as we kick off the next five days and kick off 2019. Chris. The wind is going to be a big deal, too. So, you know, everything that Jim showed you, it's like the complete opposite and worse up here with cold and wind and snow and a blizzard warning in Fargo and in Rapid City. And it's not even about the falling snow because this is not a big deal. If you if you only saw this and you said, oh, three to five inches, that's not a big deal. It's not. But the fact that we've got strong, gusty winds, the temperatures are so cold, um, it's really going to make it very tough out here for travelers. And especially if you get stuck, you do not want to get stuck when the temperature is six degrees and 
the feels like is well below zero. So we've got some light snow that is falling. More importantly, it's getting picked up by the wind and getting blown around. We're watching that for you through today. This is your forecast getting into about lunchtime. Uh, South Dakota, you're traveling, get ready. I-90 is going to be impacted by this. Throughout um, Minnesota, we've got some snow showers coming through. And even into Wisconsin, we're going to see some snow on the top edge of the whole system. But it's just, you know, Chicago, the cold air never gets down. So we never really see much in the way of any snowfall. Quick look at the northeast. We also have some snow before things change over to rain at the highest spots in Maine, 8 to 12. Chris. All right, well, a lot are loving it. Albuquerque, oh, yes. what, what an end to your year as well on the start to 2019. But, you know, by the same token, we look at the south and what an end to the year. A lot of rainfall. Look at December. You know, you add it up. The areas in pink are a foot of rain. And that's what you've seen across a large area, not just a localized area, but a large region in the south saw that much rainfall. So everything is up, right? Soil moisture is running very high, above average across Texas, especially into the southeast as well. And streams and creeks are high. We're going to be adding more rainfall into the area as we get into the first week of 2019. And in fact, not just a little bit of rain, but another three to five inches of rainfall. And so this system, you know, the one that's coming through today, yes, will bring some at least moderate rainfall, but it gets through pretty quickly. But then the front stalls out again for what, the third time in a row. And then another wave comes in and this one brings in even more moisture. And so this one will have the potential to bring that heavy rainfall. We see that as we get through the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday timeframe. So first front, that's this. You see this coming through. That brings some rainfall, yes. But the heavy stuff is back as we watch our next system, the same one that will bring some of that wintry weather into the southern plains, into Oklahoma, into western Texas. That brings in a lot of moisture to the southeast. It's just a very efficient rainfall producer, too. And, you know, with the relatively mild air that we're going to have, we're going to see some bigger to uh, totals in the numbers. Uh, the moisture is back for sure. Two to three inches of rain in Memphis. That's looking at your forecast. And we're up. I mean, everywhere. Look at Tampa, Tallahassee, Atlanta, Jackson, all ending up well above average, like 20 inches above average in Atlanta. I mean, closing on 70 inches of rain. And from light shows to winter wonderlands where the snow plows are in overdrive as we close out 2018. Chris?